Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. We are going to have a look at your reading. This is for all star signs. So if you're here, I feel like it's a sign in itself that there are messages for you. And I just wanted to mention as well that if you wanted to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do giveaways every single month. Personal services with me are always listed down below on shopmoonlightguidance.com, personal tarot readings, rituals to manifest different areas of your life, be it um, love, money, uh, happiness, healing, there's chakra cleansing, there's black magic energy removal, protection rituals, etc. It's all there for you. And there's also the intention items, which thousands of people have seen results with. There's also new items on there now as well. So, you know, check those out if you're interested. There's thousands of five-star reviews on these items. The review section's at the bottom of the website. And there's bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards, which you can put under your pillow, your wallet, or your purse. Um, there's also the new money coins as well, if anyone is interested, which have meditated with and saged um, to bring that intention into your life. So everything is there. Let's cleanse and sage this space. All right, let's begin. Wow. Wow. You know what? I mean, I saw the two of cups, but then I also saw temperance, right? And then I also saw the two of pentacles. And what's really interesting is that you've got a synchronicity between all of these cards. And it's the fact that there's something going from one to the other, right? An energy exchange. That's what we have here with these two pentacles. There's flow here. We've got that with the two cups here. This flow, again, from one cup to the other, and again here as well with the two of cups. So what a synchronicity that is to begin with. That's huge. And you know what? I mean, the knight of cups here clearly goes to show that there is someone, okay, that is going to be coming towards you. There is someone here that's going to have had massive realizations that you really are the person for them. And we're going to really look into this as we go through the reading. But clearly with the two of pentacles, you see this turmoil in the background. You know, this is pain, suffering that they have faced or caused um, due to their own inner struggles and confusions and conflicts of not knowing necessarily what to do, how to go about things, whether they're making the right choices and decisions. And, you know, they could have really caused you a lot of pain and hurt by not knowing what they've truly wanted to do and not knowing how to go about things how to make things work, you know, and it's interesting because as time has gone by, their feelings for you haven't really changed. It's their actions that have changed, which means that, you know, if they've hurt you in the past or they've been a bit hot and cold and unsure about what to do, they're now starting to recognize and realize, actually, you know, I do want to progress towards you. I do want to make things work with you. I want to look forward towards the future. I want things to be equal and mutual. As you see this mutual energy flowing through all of the cards, the Knight of Cups here shows that emotional energy, right? It's that water energy it's the flow. And um, even though this is not a water card and this isn't either, you see that flow. You see that flow here as well. They clearly want to come towards you. They clearly want to express themselves to you. They're starting to realize that there is nobody else like you out there in the world. And they're starting to also feel bad about how they have treated you as well, knowing that they need to treat you better. You know? And um, the other really important thing here as well that I'm picking up on is that they're starting to realize that this is something really special. This is not someone that you can just randomly find anywhere. You are someone who is very unique. You are someone who cannot be replaced. You are someone who is very genuine, very understanding, very respectful, very kind, and they know that you are not just someone that you can find here and there and everywhere. I think that's really important that it's, you know, it's something that we do see here because they clearly recognize and realize your worth and your value. And I don't feel like they are, I don't think they've been oblivious to it before. It's just that they've been so confused. You know, it's, it's, it's a hard one because yes, the word oblivious and the word confused can kind of fall sometimes under the same category. But I feel like, you know, in the past they've been so 
confused with their own personal issues and traumas and things like that that they just weren't able to see clearly it's almost like the blindfold has come off now and they're starting to realize like wow like there's nobody else out there like you i want to be with you i want to make a life with you i want to progress things with you i want to have something that's mutual and yes to a degree they may not have been so mutual towards you before you know you may have been pouring more energy into things or you know maybe they were pouring a lot more energy into things and then you know you were kind of just waiting and watching to see what more they're going to do you know towards you and now you're starting to re realize and also recognize like wow they actually you know they're not doing more but now you want them to do more so at some point things were not very mutual if that makes sense from what i'm seeing so let's have a look and see what the rest of the cards really do bring Okay, more water. That water energy is very strong. <laughs> yes, look at that. Seven of Cups with the Chariot and also the Eight of Wands. Mm -hmm. You know, um, it's interesting because you've got so much flow. You've got so much emotion from their side. Now, Sometimes you might not even think they really care, right? Like, where's all this emotion coming from all of a sudden? It really does come all of a sudden. Um, let me tell you why sometimes it comes all of a sudden. When someone has, you know, um, been holding back a lot, as you see here, and then all of a sudden they feel like they need to come forward, and it's usually because of a trigger in their life, okay? So clearly they've had some kind of interaction, or plural interactions, with people around them who are starting to make them realize that you know you really are the right person for them now this is going to vary from person to person because obviously i'm reading for many people here um at least more than 10 people i hope that i'm reading for more than 10 you know i know that my videos do get maybe you know <laughs> twenty thousand views uh, or more <laughs> but you know hopefully i'm reading for more than 10 people and um, the main thing here honestly is that they, for example, they could go to, you know, a social event and people might make them feel left out. You know, they could go to a gathering with friends and then, you know, their friends might talk nonsense about them or might make them feel really excluded. They could go, you know, sit with family and their family could be really negative. For example, they could be at their workplace and their work colleagues could be really like just very low vibrational, not very nice, you know, in terms of conversations or dragging them down, making them feel, you know, not very nice or patronizing them. These kinds of things make huge impact when they come to think about you because they know that you wouldn't go out of your way to make them feel like that. You're the opposite. You would be very nurturing. You would be like a warm hug to them, you know? And I think that's a beautiful affirmation to say to yourself, I am a warm hug because honestly, you have an energy which is very, well, very warm. It is very inviting. It is very kind. It is very empathic. It's very understanding. And who wouldn't love that kind of energy? Well, the answer to that question is people that simply are, you know, so traumatized to the point where they, they feel like that's too much. Um, people that uh, just, you know, d don't want that kind of positivity. But aside from that, you know, most people want a warm hug, <laughs> let's be honest. Um, it's interesting, this person's really snapping out of the pain of their past to then be able to come towards you in a much more uh, proper way where you can actually feel happier in regards to everything that's then progressing your way, if that makes sense. So don't really feel like things are going in the right direction. Um, you may not feel all the time like things are going in the right direction, but I definitely feel like they are. And I think that's really positive. It just goes to show that things are getting better and better in this situation. Empress. Yeah, they definitely see you as a very warm hug. <laughs> okay, so that's your affirmation. I am a warm hug. Comment it down in the comment section below, um, especially if this reading resonates with you um, or if you claim the reading. But the Eight of Pentacles goes to show that, listen, they will work on themselves and come towards you very naturally. They are, okay? The water energy is all about flow. They will flow towards you. You know, they've got a lot of thoughts coming into their mind and they've got to go through this tower moment, which means that Basically, someone around them is going to treat them really poorly. It's going to make them think a lot about you. And this is going to basically trigger them to come even more towards you and progress towards you, which, you know, right now they're a little bit more held back, I would say, but they will definitely progress towards you and recognize and realize their mistakes and their challenges and their not so good behavior towards you, which will basically just make them come towards you, if that makes sense. They're going to go through like um, 
a rebirth and that's kind of the energy of the tower is a demolition you know and um, sometimes things are demolished in order to build something even better in its place um you know you see that in certain buildings that are like crumbling or buildings that are not doing well like there's no other choice but to kind of get rid of the former shell of itself and then to rebuild um and you know to a degree i feel like that's what they're doing as well is that they are going through a reconstruction within themselves and their thought process and kind of like a re a regrouping rewiring <laughs> you know and then they can act much better on those particular aspects now we've also got the world card as well and yeah i mean they really do see you as the one you know their the sight has not shifted off you okay and we've got here the ten of cups they really do see you as the one they're basically realizing that nobody compares to you um that you are very real you're very honest you're very caring you're very um you know protective and if they want a really beautiful connection they have to work hard for it okay because you know they were okay and quite complacent with the kind of friends and people they had around them but those people are not treating your person very well right now and they're starting to realize that they don't like that energy you know and so the, now they're thinking about all the people that treat them very well and they do think about you so i think that really just goes to show that you know their wish right now is to feel happy and you make them happy and and that's just it you know you literally make them happy that's another really wonderful affirmation i make them happy the page of wands here and the four of swords so you know clearly you know they'll take a bit of time just to think about things but then they will definitely take action and come forward towards you and be very sad uh in regards to you know their actions towards you and how much more basically they need to do towards you because they really really do like you from what i am seeing here okay so let me just go with the cards we see what's coming through here Okay, and I'm, I'm just going to grab one of these as well. Oracle card. Ooh, we got two. Nice little bonus there. Okay, so we've got here, I hate how much pain I've caused you. There you go. Okay, they really don't feel good or they don't feel comfortable about that. There's things that uh, you said that made me feel so bad for you, so... You know, I think in the past you may have called them out on their behavior. You may have not felt very nice um, in regards to certain ways in which they've treated you. It's really obvious from what I'm seeing here that they they don't feel happy about the pain they've caused you. They don't feel good about what they've been saying and doing. They, they don't feel good about any of that. Um, clearly, they do feel bad for you. You know, the things that you've said to them um, because they really feel like they should have done so much more and they should have been so much more proactive towards you as well we've got here as well the collective heart which clearly means here that you know you do have love for them deep down they have love for you as well we've got here as well encoded footprints so clearly i feel like they're going to be coming towards you but also you know the, this is what's about those hidden messages as well this which basically means that you know they could come towards you but you might not necessarily feel like they're doing so much towards you in the beginning but essentially it's a process and in those little footsteps are these little messages of them actually wanting to progress things with you wanting to come forwards but they may not come forward towards you in the most proactive way does that make sense now what i mean by that is that they might not move towards you and rush towards you if that makes sense um they will come to you step by step and then you might think to yourself like oh it doesn't really mean like anything but it does you know because even though they're making little steps forward they are still steps forward and that's obviously really vital and very crucial um, to know and to understand as well so yeah little steps but still very important steps is what i would say and that is literally what we have here so i really hope that this helps you and gives you a lot of clarity a lot of information knowledge you know really hope it helps you in your path this is your reading and um, don't forget to check out the description box below for information on personal services, free reading giveaway, intention items which are on my website. Um, I also have TikTok and Instagram. They are listed down below for your convenience. And I will see you all very soon. All right, take care, everyone. Bye.